Not sure. It depends on the movie. What kind of movies do you like? Um, I don't know. Any genre, action maybe? Sure. If that's the case, we have to watch John Wick. Is that the one with the dead dog? Yeah. No. Too sad? Something like that. Jason Bourne? Let's just knock off Bond. So Bond. Too British. Taken? <laughs> Why would we watch Taken? <laughs> yeah, yes. Fuck <laughs> Liam Neeson. Sci-fi? Uh, that's a note of Star Wars, and I'm not gonna go see the Batman with you. More of a Trekkie, I see. I didn't think you were. Not sci-fi. Jurassic Park is sci-fi. I wasted Sam L. Pulp Fiction! I don't think that's sci-fi. You still want to watch it? I'm not the biggest Quentin Tarantino fan. Really not? I just don't get why everything's so not linear. Not everything's not linear. There's Django Unchained. Yeah, but like, everything's too overly violent. Fine. Interstellar? It's my favorite album. 2001. It's not 2 a.m. yet. Inception. Or some of you actors in their life. The horny artsy dude? Horny? Moonrise Kingdom has like kid related sex, the Dar Dar the train movie has train sex, uh, Grand Budapest Hotel, Concierge fucks like. Four of your grandparents. Rush okay, more. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Kubrick. Scott Pilgrim. I don't know. Baby Driver's better. Baby Driver, it is then. What about Hot Puss? You know I hate British people! What about his most recent film last night in Soho? That movie scares me. And I hate British people! Any you don't like? Documentaries. Yeah, so I think one of the hardest parts that we had to film was the Wes Anderson um, bit because we had to use the like 90 degree motion uh, yeah. with, the, with, the, with, the, with the table. Yeah, so we tried to mimic that using kind of the ping pong table as like a, a bit of an impromptu kind of camera dolly. I think uh, it worked to pretty good effect. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say we pulled it off quite well. I think yeah. one of the more interesting challenges we had to face was doing the reverse speaking mm -hmm. um, during the Christopher Nolan segment of the video. It was probably about half an hour straight of us just reading those lines back to each other um, by just reversing our speech and memorizing what that sounded like. Yeah, so I'd have to say that like the whole point of this, um, this film is to kind of pay homage to the greats that kind of uh, helped, inspired us to become filmmakers. So you have like, what, like Edgar Wright, um, Christopher Nolan, Wes Anderson, like I know that me and like the other people involved in this process have all been like deeply inspired and impacted by their work and so it was just the whole point of this piece was just to pay homage to movies, pay homage to the tropes that we see and you know kind of tell it in kind of a nice little campy style in our own like little way. Yeah that would suck. Give me a movie you do like. Uh, I like Pixar movies. Yo, do you want to watch the Incredibles? Cars 2! Yo! Yo! Let's go! Let's go! Cars 2! Spy! Spy movie! Spy movie! Let's go! Let's go!
You know what part of movies I really hate? What's that? Uh, the crap.